This is Frane Selak, a Croatian music teacher, the star of today's show. But don't let the music teacher part fool you. Frane's life reads like the script of an action-packed blockbuster movie. Born in 1929, Frane didn't exactly plan to become the world's most famous survivor, but fate had other plans. It's 1962. Frane's on a train winding through a snowy canyon. Suddenly, the train derails, plunging into an icy river below. Seventeen passengers tragically lost their lives that day, but not Frayne. He managed to swim to shore with a broken arm and hypothermia, but he was alive. And this was just the beginning. Fast forward to 1963. Frayne decides to take his first plane ride. What could go wrong, right? Oh, just everything. A malfunction caused a door to blow off mid-flight, and Frayne got sucked out of the plane. Yes, you heard that right, sucked out at 30,000 feet. While 19 people perished when the plane crashed, Frayne somehow landed in a haystack and walked away with only minor injuries. At this point, we're starting to think he's made of rubber. In 1966, Frayne was on a bus that skidded off the road into a river. Again, he survived. By now, water accidents were becoming a bit of a theme, but Frayne was far from done. In the 1970s, Frayne's car caught fire, twice. The first time, he managed to jump out just before the car exploded. The second time, he was driving and flames shot out of the air vents. He survived both incidents without a scratch. Then in 1995, Frayne was hit by a bus. Yeah, just casually hit by a bus. He survived with minor injuries. At this point, the Grim Ripper should have thrown in the towel. If you think this can't get any crazier, think again. In 1996, Frayne was driving on a mountain road when he swerved to avoid a head-on collision with a United Nations truck. His car went through the guardrail, but he was ejected from the vehicle, and as luck would have it, he landed in a tree. The car, however, crashed 300 feet below. Of course, Frayne walked away with barely a scratch. Now, after all this, you'd think Frayne might want to retire from life's chaos. But no, in 2003, Frayne won the lottery. And not just any lottery. He won a cool $1 million. After a life full of dodging death, it's like the universe decided, you know what? Let's throw this guy a bone. What a life. If you enjoyed this wild ride, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe for more unbelievable stories, and hit the bell so you never miss out. And also leave a comment to let us know what you think about Frame. Thanks for watching.